All right, hello guys, and welcome to the next part of the uh, Ghost of Tsushima New Game Plus playthrough. Uh, we've been doing uh, Ishikawa's missions, and we're continuing them with uh, part four. The Way of the Bow. Almost timed that, right? <laughs> we must deal with Tomoe's threat against Yoshi Springs before it's too late. I don't understand a fixation on the town. I was born there. Destroying it proves her worth to the Mongols. And humiliates me. But the terrain works in our favor. Two skilled archers can hold off hundreds. Or we allow the Mongols to take it. Tomoe wins a victory and lets her guard down. Then we strike. Sacrifice Hiyoshi Springs for Tomoe. The sacrifice is worth it. Tomoe would agree, Sensei. Fine, Sakai. <laughs> she will attack from the north. We should focus our efforts there. Scout elevated positions, place arrows, and... Listen! Did you hear that? The attack has begun! One death. Damn. Well, not in the right stance. Why are there so many archers? Ow! Bad archers. Tomoe's new friends would visit. Hold on, Sensei, let me meet him. <laughs> if the point was to kill us, she would have sent more men. Or the point was not to kill, but to delay. Kyushi Springs, the attack is starting. This way. If I fall today, promise me you will keep hunting Tomoe. I promise, Sensei. She knows you're my student. Your death will destroy my legacy. Your way of the bow will survive with me. Where will Tomoe strike? In the back town, near the waterfalls, the most vulnerable point. If we get there before the Mongols, we can prepare a defense, but it won't be easy. It never is. I don't feel over much like we've become his student. Like he's teaching us a little bit, but. I feel like we've kind of had like a, a half dozen passing conversations you with two, the man. Come here. <laughs> what is it, my lord? Mongols are heading for Hiroshi Springs. Gather everyone at the inn and stay out of sight. We will deal with them. Yes, my lord. Good sight lines over here. The Mongols won't be able to flank us. We don't have Let's much time. Do this. What can we use to our advantage? Where do you want me to survey from? Hey, do you have to like be standing in a specific spot to do a uh, surveying thing? Um, Hornet's nests. Excellent distraction. Hornet's nests. Light the grass on fire. We'll make sure you have flaming arrows. There's explosives. <laughs> Take these flaming arrows and try not to burn yourself or me. Then don't get in my way, Sensei. Get ready. Now is this the point where you soon. were you unlock flaming arrows? They're getting closer. Good. Let's demonstrate the way of the bow for them. Yeah, hold up. They're coming downhill. Take them. One arrow, one death, Sensei. Ooh, 
Oops, didn't mean to switch to my bombs. Just want to change up my type of arrow. Ow, motherfucker. Not that. Okay. I'm ready for more. So are they. Coming down the main road. I've got them. Trying to keep the grass on fire is a pain in the butt. Hit the explosive! <laughs> Gosh, that's a lot of fire. Aw, oh, darn it! Sensei, how many more are there? <laughs> this guy can just tank hits for days. <laughs> hey, there we go. Tomoe, she'll come. More on the way. Help them cross the Sisu River. there are archers. <laughs> Darn it. Whoa. Are we out of flaming arrows, Sensei? Should have brought more of those. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! You stole my kill, Sensei. <laughs> God damn, I forgot how many there were at that part. <laughs> oh. A lot of archery kills. I have to. Uh, I was standing on the wrong side of them. <laughs> There she is. That's Tomoe burning the Nagao banner. We can catch her. Oh, she'll be long gone by the time we get there. She's a coward. No. She's mocking me. She knows the last student I trained before her was Hironori Nagao. You said he wasn't your student. Which is it? I'm a liar, Jin. <laughs> Get that through your head. <laughs> I was young, prideful, callous. Hironori learned from my example. He led a rebellion to seize the clan and lost, but only after butchering Lord Nagao's best men. Hironori didn't die fighting bandits. That was a story to protect Nagao's legacy. There was no saving mine. As his teacher, I could never be trusted again. I was granted mercy to resign my position. I convinced myself the way of the bow had to survive. But the truth is, I am a coward who should have ended it long ago. You told Tomoya all of this. I wanted her to understand what it meant for me to teach again. But like everything else, she turned it against me.
You'll never redeem Hironori Nago. And you won't change Tomoe. But today, you saved the people of Hiyoshi Springs. With my new students. I'll need you at Castle Canada. My bow is yours. But Tomoe isn't done yet. We must keep hunting her. We will, Sensei. So his first student turned rebel and tried to overthrow his father. And second student turned rebel and joined the invading army that threatened the lives of their people. Oh, poor Sensei. And his third student is uh, slowly becoming a ghost. Can we already do this one? Can we not? This looks like a haiku spot. Lord Sakai. No, oh, there we go. Studied poetry with your uncle. Hello, sir. The Mongols have taken Lord Shimura captive. Mm. He will endure. He is strong and resilient, skilled in the art of combat and poetry. Do you practice haiku, my lord? Uh, poetry will help him escape prison. Is the no. reason to make time. Haiku allows one to concentrate, eliminate chaos. To find peace. Precisely. My favorite place to write lies atop the cliff. It is one of many such places. If you look, you will find inspiration all across Tsushima. I hope I can find quiet places like this one, untouched by war. Look for the birds. They will show you the way. Boom, haku time. Now can we do this one? Yes. <laughs> I guess we have to talk to him before we can write this haiku. But we could have written other ones. We have written other ones. I forgot, yeah, we did one in uh, the first episode, I think. Reflect on serenity. Feel the earth below. Whispers to my words. There's always three. Where's the third one? Clear skies and a clear mind. That sounds more like serenity to me. Swaying freely in the wind. The cool bed beneath the stars. Protection from the harsh sun. I'll go with the cool bed. Um, neither of those make me think of serenity. Beckoned by the warmth, why not? Clear skies and clear mind. Cool bed beneath the stars, beckoned by the warmth. Yeah, I don't like that one the as much. Is right. My spirit feels at peace, strong. I should compose more poems. <laughs> I mean, we get ghost flowers for doing that, so we're definitely composing more poems. Bird, I can't jump down there. Crazy ass bird. I can, however, dive down here. That be the blade of Clan Sakai. Actually, thank you, Bird, because this is what I was you looking for two that episodes ago. I've heard tales of its sharp edge and beauty. 
but I never dreamed I'd see it in person. It has been some time since I trained on the bamboo stand. I would be honored to see your blade in action. I love doing the bamboo stands. This is my jam. Oh, I messed that one up. I felt myself hit the triangle the third time. Oh, did it again. There we go. <laughs> As usual, third time's the charm. The Sakai steel is a truly fine blade, wielded by an even finer swordsman. But training with bamboo will only make you stronger. I'll need strength for what lies ahead. There are bamboo stands throughout the island. It will help sharpen your skills on the journey. Farewell, my lord. I feel like Kiyoshi Springs is the first city you're supposed to go to. There's a lot of tutorial-y things in this place. Oh, you must be weary from battle. Come, soak in the healing waters of these hot springs. Replenish your strength for the challenges to come. I must be at my best for all of them. Then follow me, my lord. On the first time I played through this game, I traveled straight south, so I only came with Yoshi Springs a little bit later on. Okay, I'll follow you, lady. Just walk a little faster. your spirit, and if you make a habit of it, the waters will grant you a long and prosperous life. Uh, resting at the hot springs increases your maximum HP the first time you do it. Here. In each hot spring. The waters are warm and calm. Get ready for some gin booty. Covered at a nearby onsen after they stopped the Yarikawa rebellion. Was it this one? I was kind of hoping he'd give more detail on the uh, rebellion, but that's a cool thing that comes up a little later in the story. I feel ready to take on the whole Mongol army. Thank you. It was my pleasure. There are hot springs all over the island. Make use of them. Take time to heal and reflect. The practice will keep your body ready for battle, my lord. All right. I think that's most of what we had to do here. Um, let's let's hit a stop or two along the road, and then uh, ooh, flower. Yeah, let's hit a stop or two along the road, and then we'll call it a day. And, um... Before we end today's episode, I'll figure out what exactly we're going to be doing next time. I am so sorry. There's, there's no reason to break this house. Like, to break into this house. Oh my god. What's wrong with me? Um, actually, you know what? We can fast travel there, and then hit right across. Let's ride our horse. I haven't, I haven't used the horse enough in this playthrough. I feel like we gotta spend more quality time with Nobu. Didn't call him Nobu this time. I almost called him Nobu again. I'm gonna do that a lot. My whole first playthrough, his name was Nobu. <laughs> and now he's Kaze, I think. <laughs> oh, is this one gonna be a fox? All right, Fox, lead me to the treasure. I just came this way. <laughs> Where are we going, little dude? 
so funny. As soon as Jin slows down out of breath, just tap circle. For some reason, he gets all his stab in the back. Thanks for bringing me to the shrine, little buddy. Oh, you know what? People are probably freaking out. Where is the fox? Oh. Oh, he ran away. Okay. You can pet the fox. Uh, I guess you have to pet them before you go... Before you pray at the shrine? I thought you could do it after. I was going to say, I didn't do that with the first fox that uh, we, like, traveled with in this playthrough. So, I'm sure people who knew that I could do that were probably bummed out that I didn't. But maybe that fox ran away too. I'm a coming, Kaze. Then we can ride off to that other question mark. Exciting than I thought it was going to be. Whoa. What do we got going on? They've taken the bridge. Tell me. We were running for Hiyoshi Springs. The bridge looked safe, but the Mongols were in the ravine. They, they started shooting from below. Someone's injured. Banta. My brother's boy. They're using him as bait. Tell your family to stay clear of the bridge. I'll stop this. All right, rescue mission. Incident at Hiyoshi Pass. Keep screaming, run! Your family's leaving you to die! <laughs> Their death has to die! Would you say, Abra Kiki, you're sneaking up? Damn, I was hoping that'd be a headshot. Hey. I don't have infinite arrows. I can't take all day shooting, you guys. Ah, where are they? <laughs> oh, they're under me. <laughs> okay, that's why I couldn't see them. I was looking too far out. Oh, there you guys are. They're being very rude. Oh, that was a terrible shot. Okay, that's you two dead. Oh. Man, the fact that they're shooting up at me like this is pretty awesome. You, buddy, flaming arrow to the leg. Okay, I don't have a lot. I only have a few more shots. Although it is with a much more powerful bow. That was a hell of an impact on that guy. Nah, the, the rock should know. Hello, Hornblower. Now, where are the rest of his? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, there he is. It's the last of them. Now for the boy. So Y'all are welcome. <laughs> I can only rescue him from this side of the bridge. It is over. Go to your family. Thank you, my lord. The bridge is clear. Speak with Bont or something? Ah. Oh, I guess we gotta speak on the other side of the bridge. Mongols are gone. Did they scream? Their suffering isn't your concern. Take your family to Hiroshi Springs. These roads are dangerous. We will. Thank you. I mean, that one guy shot in the leg with the flaming arrow probably screamed. The rest, yeah, I got some pretty clean headshots on. <laughs> Three more ghost flowers. Nice. Alright. So, looks like Lady Masako is the closest thing to us. So we're gonna head to her, and that is where we will pick up the next episode. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, we kind of wrapped up the first arc of uh, Lord Ishikawa's stuff. And uh, now we are entering this beautiful golden forest. Oh. You guys ruined my outro. <laughs> oh shit, I actually got it. Hey. I forget how doing the multiple kill thing works with that. I know you drop, like, quick draw kill the first guy. I forget how you get your additional kills. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, we've now entered this beautiful golden forest. <laughs> which is still, unfortunately, filled with models. And, um, yeah, next time we will pick up with... What is this one called? La ta uh, the Tale of Lady Masako. I do not know what the uh, actual quest line title is. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you next time. Take care.